We are using ANSYS substantially in the mechanical and aerospace engineering department, uh, which is the department that I'm based in. But I'm also aware of instructors and researchers in electrical engineering, biomedical engineering, and civil and environmental engineering, also chemical and biomolecular engineering, all these departments using ANSYS. And within mechanical engineering, we are using it in five different courses in our curriculum. And these are courses from very different areas, such as solid mechanics, heat transfer, fluid mechanics, labs, lecture courses. So we have a broad spectrum of use within our curriculum, and then we have faculty using it for research in emerging fields like energy and biomechanics. I like the depth and breadth of ANSYS products. Whether we're doing finite element analysis or computational fluid dynamics, it has capabilities that are helpful both for the beginner but also for the advanced researcher. And also it can be used in different kinds of physics. ANSYS Workbench has helped us procure a grant from the National Science Foundation to incorporate advanced simulation into the curriculum and the idea is that users of advanced simulation fall in a spectrum from novice to expert. So this grant is looking at how can we get students along that spectrum faster so that they approach simulation more like experts than novices. And one of the key ideas in that is to have kind of a uniform best practices approach that the novice sees repeatedly and connects to their existing knowledge. And this is where the technology, the multi-physics depth offered by Workbench becomes very useful to provide that uniform learning experience. It's uh, very important that the academic product is the same as the commercial product. This is for two reasons. First, our students are likely to encounter these products when they go into the workplace, and so it prepares them better for their careers. Second, it also gives us within the university access to the same advanced technology that industry has. And in fact, it's those capabilities that enable advanced research within university projects.